I've tested some art supplies from IKEA and this time it's the watercolor set. IKEA sells this 14 pan watercolor set for 8 euros or 10 dollars. I'll do a similar painting with the IKEA set and with my Winsor & Newton Cotman watercolor set that costs around 17 to 20 euros and we'll see how they compare. I wanted to make Halloween themed paintings to continue my parrot series, so I sketched a white cockatoo dressed as a ghost with the sheet on with the eye holes sitting on a sugar skull. And another cockatoo with sugar skull makeup so I could use the same colors for both paintings. I sketched them with erasable colored pencils and transferred them onto watercolor paper using graphite transfer paper and then cleaned up and lightened the transfer a bit with an eraser. I'm doing layering for the background, painting the outlines and eyes for the little ghosts or skulls, but then painting the negative space around them. I tried choosing the color scheme so that it works for both paintings and it's easier to compare between the two watercolor sets. But it turned out what I thought at first glance was black is actually a silver. And half of the pans are shiny pearl and metallic colors, which the other palette does not have. It almost looks like a makeup palette with all this shimmer. I think IKEA sells a set with just normal colors too, but for some reason I ended up with this one. And since the IKEA palette doesn't have any dark colors, the background of that painting is a lot lighter. Okay, so my bad. Cockatoos live in Australia, right? I know that. I've seen videos of cockatoos breaking into locked trash cans in Australia. They don't live in Mexico or South America, so to connect a cockatoo with the Day of the Dead doesn't really make sense geographically, but I thought the sugar skull decorations would look nice on a white parrot. My reference photo was of Kaija. She's a rescue parrot in the Rescue Bird Park in Heinola in Finland. She's been there for over 10 years and she loves to dance to music and repeat her own name. I used a sulfur crested cockatoo for the other picture. They have multiple at the bird rescue park of different types, different sizes of sulfur crested cockatoos, but I think this photo was of Petya. She's been at the bird rescue park for about 20 years and she was born, well, hatched in 1978, so she's in her 40s, about 45 years old. I'm attempting to use all the shades of the IKEA palette and I used green for the sugar skull. I didn't realize the colors would be so neon, so I suppose this is more of a special effects watercolor set, not the basics. I'm trying to dull them down by adding a bit of the opposite color, but I'm not getting much depth. They're bright and light colors, but I can't get the contrast I want. And when layering, it kind of starts lifting off the previous layer. I was trying to layer opposite colors to make black or at least brown, and I did achieve slightly darker colors for the beak and the eye, but nothing like what I could do by mixing burnt amber and ultramarine blue or cobalt blue with the Cotman set. I went back and forth on whether I liked the sugar skull parrot on a cactus painting. The feathers stumped me once again, like they do every time, and it really made me dislike the painting for a while. But adding some of the darkest shading under the wings and so on did help. And then I was unsure about adding the skeleton part that I had in the sketch, but in the end I committed to the Halloween theme. I think cockatoos are some of the most photogenic parrots, and I've probably been painting them too much, considering I'm selling merch for bird owners and bird appreciators, and cockatoos really aren't the most common pet parrot, and for good reason. They probably shouldn't be, unless it's a rescue that needs a home, and the owner is experienced with birds and knows what what they're getting into. Another point to note is that the IKEA painting did not scan normally. I don't remember ever having this problem before while scanning, but the colors were altered while scanning. Maybe because of the shininess, I'm not sure. I did try the fix colors feature in the scanning settings, but it didn't fully fix it either. I did what I could with editing, but I couldn't make it look exactly like the real painting. 
So while this isn't your basic palette, it could be a fun additional palette for some shimmer details in your paintings. But I'll probably let my nieces and nephews have it after this. But what's the difference between watercolor and gouache? I made nearly the same painting with each of those mediums in this video here. See you there!